Revelation, chapter number 22, verse number 2. But we're going to read verse number 1 and flow down into verse number 2. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bare twelve manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations now if we look and you can read this on your own Ezekiel 47 chapter verse number 12 where it talks about a similar occurrence of a river coming not out of the throne but out of the sanctuary and we know New Jerusalem does not have a temple because God himself will be the temple but we're just pointing out some similarities between Ezekiel and New Jerusalem. They both had a river. They both had tree that bear 12 manners of fruit. The leaves was for medicine in one and for the healing of the nation in the other. Very similar occurrences. But if we look at this New Jerusalem. It talks about how the tree of life is going to be on either side of the river. And it talks about how there will be 12 manner of fruit. And it will yield its fruit every month. And the leaves will be used for the healing of the nation. A city with a crystal pure river flowing out of a crystal clear glass gold street. And either side would be the tree of life. To eat of this tree would mean to die no more. And then even the leaves of the tree. You know, most of us, we would eat the fruit of the tree. Not the leaves, but even the leaves of this tree would be used for the healing of the nations. What nations? The other individuals that will come after, that will be outside the city. This tree of life, it started way back in the beginning, in Genesis. God had the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God gave Adam a choice. He gave him a commandment. And we all know the story. Adam did not keep it. Man was thrust out of paradise for the sole purpose of not to eat of this tree of life. Because of sin. God had meant for man. To eat of this tree of life. All the way back. In the beginning. But sin. Had interrupted. God's plans. He sent. A cherub. With flaming swords. To guard. The way of Eden. This tree has been off limits to man ever since. No man has ever seen it ever since. This tree has become a virtual myth because it's just been spoken of. But now we will see it's more than myth. It's a reality. And it will be available for all those that make it to New Jerusalem, they will be able to eat of the tree of life 
freely. They will be able to take of the leaves for the healing of the nations. We see how God has great things in store for us. But sin is what interrupted and diverted the plans of God. Sin did not stop the plan of God. God knows everything. God knew man was going to sin. So therefore he had plans even for man's sin. How to get us reconciled back to him because of the sin. Now it talks about. 12 manner of fruit. This illustration of a tree that we have. Have 12 manner of fruit. We have a couple of scenarios that could happen. The tree could bear one type of fruit one month. And another type of fruit another month. And another type of fruit another month. Or it could be as this example that we have here. Where it brings fruit every month. In 12 different manner of fruit every month. The scripture seems like it's leaning towards one month it would be this manner of fruit. One month it would be the next manner of fruit. But as I said before, prophecy is subject to fulfillment. God in the name of Jesus we actually look on and bless and touch and have your way. Thank God. Amen.